This is Mr. Mark with Automating Google Trends links in Excel. What I have done here is created a spreadsheet where if I type in a search term, for instance, cell phones for sale, it automatically creates a Google Trends link for that search term, which will show me the results in the United States for the past 12 months in all categories as a general web search. And now I will click on the link just to show you that it works. And of course, once I get here, I can change United States to worldwide or whatever else I wish, right? I can change the, the months, categories, web search. I can change web search to YouTube search or what have you. Now, for me, the usefulness of this is that I can actually have a whole list of search terms that I plan to search on a regular basis. And by generating links for them, I won't have to keep going to trends and actually type the search terms in. All right, I can simply go to the spreadsheet, click on the link, and right away look at the trend for that particular search term. So, for instance, I can add another search term, like let's say Excel formulas. Right? Let's say I want to see if people are searching for Excel formulas. Let's see for some reason I want to see if people are searching for Microsoft Office or if I want to check the trends for um, men's dress pants. Right? There are many different search terms that you might be interested in. What I will do is simply copy this formula down. And as you can see, it automatically creates links for all these different search terms. So if these are four search terms that I'm going to be checking on a regular basis, all I have to do is open my spreadsheet, click on the link, and right away, it'll show me the Google trend for that particular search term. Okay, men's dress pants. Open that one. And finally, I'll do Microsoft Office, so you can see that one as well. So it just saves me the trouble of actually going to trends.google.com, typing in a search term. All right, and that's really what it does. It's also good to have a list of search terms that I'm going to regularly search. Right, so I don't have to commit them to memory. Now, for those of you who would like to understand how the formula actually works, I'll show you how I actually created this formula. First of all, let's take a look at the actual formula. I'll double click on this first cell so you can see it. Okay, the formula uses the hyperlink function, it uses concatenate and it uses substitute. So I will break it down for you now. Okay, what I'll do is I'll do it in the cell down here. So what I did is I went to trends.google.com. Okay, just have to wait for it. And I searched a term. So let's say, for instance, I were to search for bubblegum for whatever reason. So search for bubblegum. Okay, and I decided to go with these settings, United States, past 12 months, all categories, and web search. And what I did is I looked up here at the URL, and I noticed that the URL starts this way, right? Now, there was one difference before, which is that the geo equals US was right after the uh, question mark. So it was a little different before. But basically, I took that section and I copied that into my function, which is how I came up with the, oops, the first part. Or parameter of this concatenate. 
In fact, what I'll do is I'll actually build the function so you can see I did it. So I typed in equal, concatenate, and I took that actual URL or that section of the URL Here it is, now it's just the way it was before. Right from here all the way up until and including the equal sign. And as you can see, the second half is the actual search term. But the spaces are filled in with percent twenty. So I took this first part, I copied it, went back to Excel, open quote, pasted it, close quote. And if you don't know, concatenate is used to combine strings. So now I place a comma here. And now the next part of this string or of the URL is the actual search term. Now we're going to go back and look at it for a second and notice that wherever there are spaces in the search term, which is cell phones for sale, you'll see that instead of spaces in the URL, you see percent 20, right? Each space is replaced with percent 20, right? Percent sign followed, followed by the number 20. So in order to achieve that, I had to use the substitute function. So now I type in substitute, open parentheses. And what substitute does is it takes a term. Now remember, the search term will be entered here, so I'm going to click on the cell, A7. Okay, this is where the search term will be. So the first parameter is the actual search term, comma, old text, meaning the text that I'm replacing. And in this case, I'm replacing the spaces. So I type, quote, one space, another quote, because I'm replacing spaces, comma, the new text. The new text, again in quotes, is percent to zero, percent 20. Right, so this is telling Excel to look in A7, look at the string that's in A7, find the spaces that are in it and substitute them with percent 20. Okay, close parentheses, enter. And that pretty much gives you a link. But just to be sure, I also added the hyperlink. Now this appears to be a link, but it might not function as a link, which is why I then added the hyperlink. So I'm going to double click so you can see it right here. And what I did is I used the hyperlink function, which takes a string and makes it into a hyperlink. I did hyperlink of this whole thing, right, of this whole concatenate, and make sure your parentheses match. And that pretty much should do the trick. All right, this is the function. Hyperlink, concatenate, right, takes the first half of the URL, combines it with the search term, with the spaces substituted, with percent 20. Okay, I'm going to press escape to get out of that. And again, I'll try another search term here. Um, for instance, I'll just put apples and oranges. And as you can see right away, it adds apples, percent 20, and percent 20 oranges onto the first half of this URL, which performs a Google Trend search in the US, right? Now I click on the link just to make sure it works. Wait for it, and there you see it. Apples and oranges, United States, past 12 months, all categories, web search. So that is how I built the function or the formula 
that creates a Google Trends link based on a search term. And um, as I said, I, f I feel like this could be useful to me if I have a list of search terms that I want to search on a regular basis and I don't necessarily want to type in the search term each time that I'm looking for that particular Google trend on that search term, right? This could be convenient to uh, automatically generate links to those different search terms. So hopefully this video was useful to you. If it was, feel free to hit like or to and to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.